for, for maybe for uh, for Yell, the, the running game tonight. What, what, what made it so tough um, to run on them tonight? Um, they have some really big guys up front, so it's tough to get in some movement on double teams. And they have a really some really athletic linebackers. You know, everyone knows Devin White, but they're all they're all extremely extremely athletic and. Whenever we can't really get to linebackers, they make some big plays. You saw them fly around, make a lot of plays in the backfield, and they have a really good back end as well. That even if we block it up right, they feel real quick. We we had a couple of plays that led to a safe where the safeties made the tackle. It could have been a big play, but they kept it to no more than six, seven yards. So it's uh, it's a really good defense. They fly around. They they don't just stop whenever you're on them. Um, they stay active, and uh, that's. They're really good. Uh, oh yes, you can see run-stopping defense. Yeah, for, for for Ty and CJ, you, um, you guys put together some you know good drives there in the fourth quarter. Two touchdown passes. What 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 what, what got you guys going there? I think we just uh, got into a rhythm. Um, the line was doing a good job giving us time, and um, uh, CJ made some great plays uh, along with some other other guys. Really stepped up and made some plays, and it seemed like we just had to had to kind of get a kickstart to get in rhythm and. Once we got it going, I mean, we put some points on the board. Oh, yeah, just going off what he said, it started up front. <clears throat> O-line gave, gave Ty time, and Ty put it in the right in the right spot at the right time. Uh, he, he, I think it's a big thing, trust. He trusted me, and I, I trusted him, and I uh, just tried to take advantage of the opportunity given. Hey, CJ, I know you wanted to win, but um, just on a personal level, how nice is it to know that you can go up against an elite defense like that and have the game that you did like you've been doing all season? Uh, I, I feel like I, I don't want to put like myself as – or I don't want to be an individual. Uh, I, I just – I was given the opportunity. Um, I think uh, God, he, 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 he made everything possible for that to happen. Coach Craddock uh, uh, calling the plays uh, and trusting me to – uh, execute. Uh, I feel like anybody, you know, we have we have good tight ends uh, and receivers. Anybody like that were that were anybody that wanted to like get the ball, you know, they can make the play too. So I, I just want to say uh, I'm grateful for the opportunity. CJ Coach Morrison, he warned you after that first touchdown catch just to be careful there, play smart with, with the refs there. What happened on the, the second touchdown? Um, uh, at that point. I just uh, I, I got a little too excited, uh, definitely out of control, uh, and that's not going to happen again. That was just a very immature move by, on my part, and it's definitely not going to happen again. Ty, just how difficult was it to be one-dimensional, especially having to be you know, with no first downs, so only getting a yard or two. Just kind of what did that do to your the offense and your defenses and everything? Uh, put us behind the chains. Uh, that was the the hardest part. We um, seemed like we were behind the chains all the whole first half, and we didn't look very good the first half. It looked uh, really bad. Uh, thankfully, we came in, made some adjustments, and um, kind of opened it up a little bit, and we we um, started driving a little bit. Yeah, I guess for Ty, um, actually, you guys did have a really good fourth quarter, but 216 yards is your lowest total of the year. I mean, you guys, you know, put up more a lot more yards down in Alabama. What, what, what made LSU's Defense so tough tonight. Uh, they were obviously great athletes, but they were really disciplined too. Um, they, it, it was hard to get them out of place. They all uh, kind of knew what they were doing. It looked like, and they didn't didn't mess up. And we knew going in it was going to be a tough challenge. Um, there, they have NFL guys all across the board, but so did other teams we play. But they were just really disciplined, and they they made good plays. I don't know if you guys know the history of the rival and all the rivalry and all the wild finishes. Uh, if you'd got another chance, how confident were you? Do you think you could have got something done with the way the crowd, the energy, your momentum? I think we're a confident football team, uh, especially offensively. After that, we started rolling. Um, we knew exactly what we were going to do. We were talking about it on the sidelines, and we, we had a good plan, and I think we were all pretty confident we were going to execute it. Yeah, I thought the game plan was really well. I think Coach kind of called a good game, but in the end, it comes down to us executing on the offensive line on all those first down plays. You know, we we can't run the ball. We're we're going to be behind the chains, and we're going to we're asking the quarterback and the receivers to make you know big time throws and big time catches on third and long. Uh, and that's I thought we had a great plan coming in, but you know, I don't. They they played extremely well on defense, and I don't think uh, up front we didn't execute as well as uh, we'd hoped. And, uh, 
Uh, I just think we, we had a lot of uh, momentum going in those last two drives we scored. Uh, people could try to give me all the credit, but it started with uh, LaMichael Petway. He had a big uh, big yard gainer. And then uh, uh, Jerry Cornelius made a play. Grayson Gunner made a play. Like it, it's, it's, all, it's a team sport, and it, it took all of us to do all that. And so I'm proud of them. It's probably, it's, this is the third SEC loss where it's a one possession game. You know, this game, Ole Miss A&M. How frustrating is that? How close do you think you guys are to maybe breaking through? And even though it's been a tough season, how big would it be if you could break through in these last two games? And kind of what, what's the mindset right now? Yeah, I mean, we got to get some wins. Um, and it starts with coming back in tomorrow with the same mindset of just getting a little bit better. Um, we... We just got to get some wins together, and obviously that'd be huge for the program, for the seniors, send them out the right way. Um, I mean, the seniors deserve a lot better than what we've given them, and uh, hopefully we can get those uh, next two wins, and we'll um, we'll feel good about feel better about ourselves. Yeah, it's just you know getting back to work. It's a broken record uh, by now, you know, but um, you know, we just gotta we just gotta keep going. I'm proud of our guys, you know, showing up every day and giving their putting their best foot forward you know uh, I thought we had a really good week of practice and we think we have a really good week of practice every week and of course the one possession loss uh, it hurts because uh, I thought we we had some momentum going in the in the, in the last quarter um, and uh, we, we couldn't execute in the end but like it's a quick turnaround you know we got to get back in into work tomorrow and uh, focus on uh, on Mississippi State and uh, just going off that, <clears throat> it's just really frustrating. Uh, yeah, I think the most frustrating thing is to just go back to the summer workouts and all that. Like, just we we've never worked like this hard before in our life, and then we're putting together good practices and great practices. Uh, our record right now does not reflect how like we are as a team. <clears throat> I know we're way better than our record. It's just we're missing something. I'm not sure what it is, but uh, all we know, well, and all we do is. The, the next week we go to, we go down and go just go back to work like they were saying that's all we know thanks fellas